any level of musician can improvise. And in fact, you don't have to be a musician at all to improvise. Hi, I'm Justin Stanton, keyboard player and trumpet player for Snarky Puppy, and I'm here at Piano to show you how to solo. When we speak, we are improvising. We are communicating. It's important for a piano player to learn to solo. We're getting off the page, the sheet music, where now we're opening ourselves up to communicating with someone else. So no matter what our level is as an improviser, whether we're beginner or advanced, we can always jump in on the song as a basis for our improvisation. So we're just gonna focus on the A section melody here. It's an eight bar melody. And with this melody in particular in the first eight bars, it's a sequence. This first phrase is, we have two steps, diatonic steps, and then a fourth. The next phrase is the same thing within the key, but we're just gonna move down. Then the next phrase is, you guessed it, the same thing. And then the next one is the same shape. The notes change a bit. It's over the five chord of E minor. So we're gonna use the melodic minor of E. Okay, so the four phrases just condensed are. Third phrase. Fourth phrase. We want to get this melody inside our head. We're trying to replicate or emulate the voice. I would encourage you when you're practicing these things to sort of sing the melodies along while you're playing. This is where listening really becomes important because we need a reference point, a musical reference point to know how we want to execute these certain embellishments. We're just going to take the first two bars of that eight bar phrase. And I'm gonna do some rhythmic variations and I'm not really thinking about how I'm gonna do it. I'm just gonna sort of let it happen. So here we go. One, two, one. Two, three, four, one. Two, three, four, one. Three, four, one. Vary the note length. That's all legato, maybe a little shorter. So those are just a couple ways. We're just adding syncopation. Maybe we're putting a triplet in there. We're also varying the note length. We're making staccato versus legato. Maybe not everything's gonna feel good all the time. Maybe when you're playing live, it's not gonna feel good all the time, but that's what we're going for. We're, we're just trying different things and to see what feels good and what comes out. Now we're gonna play the whole eight bar phrase and we're gonna do little rhythmic variations the whole time. All right, so here we go. One, two, one. Two, three, four. Okay, so we talked a little bit about rhythmic syncopation, how we can vary the melody rhythmically. Of course, we can choose different notes too. We don't have to make the original idea more complicated. A lot of times we can make it less complicated and have more like a stronger effect. I'll just demonstrate some things here. We'll do some different embellishments. So here we go. One, two, one. I just picked another melodic sequence of really simple, probably it, it's more simple than the original, but again, I have to know what the melodic notes are and I have to have targets in the melody where I'm, I know I'm going. But instead of going, and then, then I'm going, and all we're doing with things like that is we're emulating the human voice. So. 
kind of get the subtlety of the expression of how we want to do it. Like if it's just like a turn, and I use the B flat as the, as the upper note of the turn, but maybe I want to use the B natural. The important thing is to listen and try to emulate the way people do it. That you, you find the things that you like and try to emulate those things as closely as you can. If you want to play this melody and some of these concepts along with me, there is a challenge inside Piano. You'll be able to access a backing track and practice alongside me. Just click the link below this video to try it for free. All right, let's just take the first eight bars again of Autumn Leaves. We're not so concerned with playing the tempo and we can really focus on melodic shape. Maybe some of those things you understood, some of those things may be like, what's going on right there? So a lot of what I'm doing is very, what we'd say, diatonic. It's within the key. So we're in E minor or G major. So if we know our G major scale, and we just start that G scale on E minor, it's the same notes, we're just starting on E. I'm really just thinking within that key center, and it just sort of gives us more of this leading tone sound that leads into E minor. So we have this. If we go back to the first eight bars, we have A minor to D7, G major to C. Now here, F sharp half diminished, we have the five chord. Then we go back to A minor, and I'm basically in G major. Now here I'm gonna switch that melodic minor sound. Continue learning more and more things, more and more standards, more and more songs. Listen to more and more versions. We have access to everything now. It's important that we just check out a lot of things, find the things that grab you, and really learn it. Deep listening and copy those things, and they will become a part of your playing. My name is Justin Stanton, and I will see you inside Piano. Mm -hmm.